Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Ocean of Medical Literature. In this video, we are dealing with the venous drainage. Okay, venous drainage of the heart. It is the last topic of our lecture. Okay, so in the previous video, we already done with the arterial blood supply of the heart. Okay, uh, as we know, oxygenated blood is required for the heart. That's that's like deoxygenated blood is also drained by the heart. Okay, so in that. In the venous drainage, we are dealing with the three types of the vein. Okay, so venous drainage of the heart is drained by three major veins of the heart. Okay, under the one of the major uh, vein, there is a some uh, important branches of the vein. We have to be learn in that. Okay, basically, heart is drained by the three major type of the vein. Okay, which they are first is the anterior cardiac vein, second cardia minimi which is present in the right atrium inside and one of the largest vein of the heart that is the coronary sinus okay in the maximum time in the examination the question may ask what is the largest vein of the heart and which is the largest vein of the heart so that you may be know coronary sinus coronary sinus it is the largest vein of the heart it is about the three centimeter long which is present posteriorly of the heart okay and in the coronary sinus there are seven branches of the vein okay which is drained in the coronary sinus okay so first i will show you with the help of tree diagram what are the three veins of the heart and under the which vein there is a sub vein of the heart okay if you know the arterial supply of the heart so venous drainage is very simple and easily understand by watch my previous video arterial blood supply so link is in description box so please go and watch the previous video arterial blood supply of the heart and then come to the, uh, then you will understand venous drainage of the heart student so uh, venous drainage of the heart mainly the heart is drained by the three major veins which they are first first that is an anterior cardiac vein okay this is the first vein which is present on the anterior surface of the right atrium okay i will show you in the diagram also so first vein that is the anterior cardiac vein which is collect the venous drainage of the heart and directly drain in the right atrium okay second one is the vena cordis minimi it is a small force like structure if you remember the previous video in interior of the right atrium so then you will understand what is the venous cordis minimi okay it is a small small force like structure which is directly open in the right atrium that is the veins of the heart okay which is also directly drain in the right atrium venous drainage okay then major and one of the most important vein of the heart that is the coronary sinus okay coronary sinus it is the largest vein of the heart which is three centimeter long which is present posteriorly and open in the right atrium from the posterior wall okay means it is a three centimeter long and it is present posterior surface of the heart okay and it is only also open from the posterior wall of the heart in the right atrium okay under the coronary sinus there is a seven veins okay it is a branches of the vein which is collect the venous blood of the heart from various part and drain in the coronary sinus and then finally coronary sinus drain the deoxygenated blood in the right atrium okay so these three major veins of the heart and under the coronary sinus there is a seven vein okay so first vein first three veins how to keep remember which vein and what are the name of that vein under the coronary sinus so just imagine there is three brothers uh, big brother small br uh, middle brother and small brother okay so uh, from big brother you have to keep in remember great big great so that is a great cardiac vein okay from big brother you have to keep in remember keep in your mind that is a great cardiac vein okay which is the first branch of the coronary sinus second is the middle cardiac vein from the middle brother you have to keep remember middle cardiac vein okay then last is small brother from small brother you have to keep remember small cardiac vein okay so these three types of the vein okay uh, okay these three uh, veins okay which is open in the coronary sinus okay then next move, move to the next two veins which they are if you remember the arterial blood supply on the right side okay branch of right coronary artery on the anterior surface one branch of the coronary artery which is the right marginal artery okay from right marginal artery you have to keep in your mind 
right marginal vein okay right marginal vein same like that from uh, on the surface of left side or branch of left coronary artery which is the left marginal artery same like that left marginal vein okay so right marginal vein and left marginal vein okay five veins then two are remaining okay oblique vein of the right left atrium oblique vein of left atrium okay oblique from oblique structure you have to keep in your mind oblique vein okay if it is the oblique vein so that is for left atrium okay so oblique vein of left atrium and last one posterior vein of left ventricle okay from posterior you have to keep in your mind posterior vein for left ventricle so these seven vein which is open in the coronary sinus and coronary sinus directly drain in the right atrium so which the anterior cardiac vein vena cordis minimi which is present inside the right atrium okay on a uh, medial uh, medial uh, wall interior interiorly on the present on uh, medial wall of left uh, sorry right atrium there is a small small pore like structure so there is a presence of vena cordis minimi okay if you not uh, know what is the uh, vena cordis minimi so in the description box there is a demonstration of the uh, internal structure of the heart go and watch that video okay so then you will understand what is vena cordis minimi okay then coronary sinus okay in the maximum time in the mcq examin in the examination maximum time the question may be asked what is the length of the coronary sinus so in that you have to keep in your mind there is a length of the coronary sinus is 3 cm long okay and maximum time the position may a uh, position of the coronary sinus is asked so the position of the coronary sinus coronary sinus present posteriorly of the heart okay and directly open in the right atrium so these all are the three major veins of the heart and under the coronary sinus there is seven branches of the vein okay so which they are great cardiac vein middle cardiac vein small cardiac vein right marginal artery left marginal uh, sorry right marginal vein left marginal vein oblique vein of left atrium and posterior vein of left ventricle so these all are the veins of the heart okay now we will move to the next uh, that is on the heart exactly where these veins are present okay now i will show you where exactly all the veins are present so first anterior uh, vein, anterior cardiac vein okay if you know this structure this is a right atrium on the surface of right atrium there is a two veins are present okay which is uh, clearly visible by your eyes so this veins which is collect the venous drainage from the left at right atrium and directly drain in the right atrium okay so these all are the anterior cardiac vein okay both are anterior cardiac vein okay then second vein is vena cordis minimi if you know when whenever we will dissect the right atrium so on the medial wall of the right atrium there is a small spore like structure is present what they are that is a vena cordis minimi vena cordis minimi okay which is a very small spore like structure and directly dra uh, drain in the right atrium so these two veins are vena cordis minimi and anterior cardiac vein okay then move to the very largest vein that is the coronary sinus okay this highlighted portion it is a coronary sinus okay this is coronary sinus okay but coronary sinus is present posteriorly okay but to understand you all i highlighted this portion okay the dotted line structure means the structure is present posteriorly of the heart so but you understand due to because of you, your understanding i highlighted this portion okay coronary sinus itself is a three part first this part is known as left part this one is known as middle part and this one is known as ending part okay so according to their parts veins are drained in there in the coronary sinus and finally coronary sinus from posterior wall it's open in the right atrium and all the deoxygenated blood is drained okay so first three brothers what they are great middle and small okay 
so these three brothers where exactly they are present okay if you are looking this structure this dotted line structure which is present posteriorly this vein is known as small cardiac vein cv means cardiac vein okay which is present posteriorly surface of right ventricle okay present posteriorly on the surface of right ventricle and this vein directly drain in the coronary sinus at the ending portion of the coronary sinus this portion is known as ending portion of coronary sinus that is about a small cardiac vein okay move to the next vein that is the middle cardiac vein so between right uh, ventricle and left ventricle between the two ventricular groups what is that interventricular group but it is a posterior site and on the posterior surface of interventricular group which artery is present and posterior interventricular artery present which is the branch of right coronary artery so middle cardiac vein is accompanies with posterior interventricular artery and drain in the middle portion of the coronary sinus so this is a middle cardiac vein okay small cardiac vein and middle cardiac vein okay the, the last vein that is a great cardiac vein but great cardiac vein is not present posteriorly it is present anteriorly on the surface of left ventricle okay if you know on the surface of left ventricle there is the presence of left coronary artery okay left coronary artery is running from here between the uh, interventricular group so on the surface of the left ventricle there is a branches of diagonal branches okay so from that structure the deoxygenated blood is collected by great cardiac vein okay this whole structure is great cardiac vein if you know there is a presence of circumflex branch circumflex artery so it is also circumflex artery is also drain the deoxygenated blood in the cardiac uh, great cardiac vein and great cardiac vein going posteriorly and drain the deoxygenated blood in the left portion of the coronary sinus so that is great cardiac vein okay so these three important veins small middle and great okay then move to the next two veins that is a right marginal vein and left marginal vein if you know uh, here is a presence of right coronary artery okay so on the surface of right coronary artery when right coronary artery is going downward so it gives one branch here which is known as right marginal artery so it, this vein is right marginal vein okay okay right marginal vein is accompanied with right coronary artery so this is a right marginal vein okay so this this is a fourth vein of the heart means branch of the coronary sinus then here is the presence of left marginal artery but left marginal artery is present anteriorly but left marginal vein is present posteriorly okay because on the anterior surface right marginal vein uh, arteries end here and anastomose with the left margin uh, left uh, marginal vein okay but it's going posteriorly from this structure so left marginal vein is present posteriorly and drain in the end portion of the coronary uh, sorry left portion of the coronary sinus so this vein is left marginal vein okay so here student small middle great right and left very simple but how to keep remember oblique vein of right left atrium and posterior vein of the left ventricle okay if you see it is a present uh, it is a structure of the left ventricle okay and if you know this vein okay it is going obliquely okay you have to imagine this vein is going obliquely due to oblique structure you have to keep in your mind oblique vein for left ventricle so this vein is oblique vein of left ventricle okay so due to oblique structure okay it's going upward but obliquely so due to oblique structure you have to keep in your mind oblique vein for left vent atrium okay maximum time student make mistake oblique vein for left ventricle 
So due to oblique structure, you have to remember oblique vein for left atrium. Okay. Now move to the last vein that is a posterior vein of a left ventricle. Okay. If you see this vein is going posteriorly and going downward. So downward is what structure? Downward that is the presence of ventricle. Okay. Due to the ventricular structure, this vein is known as of posterior vein of left ventricle okay so this vein is posterior vein of left ventricle okay so and this vein also present posterior wall of the left ventricle this all veins okay oblique vein also and posterior vein also and this both veins open in the middle portion of the coronary sinus and finally coronary sinus drain the whole deoxygenated blood in the right atrium so that is about the venous drainage of the heart okay so very simple if you know the arterial supply of the heart so venous drainage is very easily understand okay so these all seven veins branches of coronary sinus anterior cardiac vein and vena cordis minimi these three major veins of the heart which is very important and it is frequently asked in the examination for five marks okay if it is asked so you have to draw this diagram along with the t diagram you have to draw this diagram okay so this that is all about the venous drainage of the heart here we completed the whole heart anatomy okay mm -hmm. so here we completed the all heart anatomy if you want a detailed note of each and every lecture so visit the Instagram page, the Ocean of Medical Literature. There you will get the all detailed notes. Okay. And if you understand my topics, so please share with your medical friend and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press bell icon. Thank you.